Welcome back to Peaks 47. So I'm just going to try and add a little bit of greenery on this centre bit here. Not much, but just a tiny bit. I figured stuff would collect, run down, sit in the middle here, and it might give some sort of vegetation the opportunity to grow. So I'm just going to use some 2mm WWS spring. I'm just going to stipple a couple of bits of glue on, shake it over the top and see what I end up with. So I've poured it off and that's what I've got which I'm quite pleased with just a little bit could always tone that down a bit with the airbrush but I think that's enough for what I was aiming for so I'm also gonna add a little bit here mainly to cover a repair that I've had to do and I think this would be realistic for just a little bit to land along this gap. So I'm just using the basing glue again for this. PVA would work also in this instance as well. And I'm gonna use some T62 burnt grass for this bit. That's all that needs there. Just gives it a bit of detail. Still got to put some stuff in here. Perhaps weather these panels a little bit more. But all in all, as far as vegetation goes, I'm not going to be putting much more on it than that. So I've started filling some rolling stock with ballast. I think I'm going to airbrush this white. I think that's a little bit too dark as it is, but I'm going to use the same ballast and just drop some little bits on these ridges of the bout. And this would have been one of the rolling stocks that's going to sit under the hopper that the bout's putting it into. So I'm going to leave that as it is for now, probably come back to it, add a bit more detail, but for now that's at a reasonable standard I can leave it. Quite pleased with the ballast, obviously it's got to dry yet, it's a bit in the hopper as well. Yeah, happy to leave that as it is for now. So I purchased this stuff recently, the medium green. Now the colour online looked really good and my idea with pretty much this whole bag I was going to use along this back edge and just have it as just really dense vegetation. But looking at the colour, what's in the bag, so this is the colour of the clump foliage. Um, and it's not the colour that I was hoping it would be. I, you will have noticed from the rest of the layout, I try and use sort of natural 
blends and more like a khaki sort of colours. So I've mixed up some poster paint, so just like a standard green and then with a load of brown in it to give me this sort of khaki sort of colour which is what I was more I was hoping it was going to be that sort of colour. So I'm going to see if I can actually paint this stuff and save, the, save it really. So I've just put some down on the sticky side of some tape to hold it. And I'm just going to see what this poster paint is like. I've never put poster paint through the airbrush before. I've thinned it down with water about 50%. So it's ultra thin. Just a darker green. So there we go. The one on the left is the one I've just airbrushed. And it's just subtly different, but that was the colour that I was hoping for. So I can save that bag, and once it's all in place, I can spot areas just to break it up a little bit. So I just figured it'd be a damn sight easier to chuck a load in the pot with the paint and spread it out and let it dry, and then I can sort of break bits up as I need. So if I just drop a bit in that I haven't already coloured yet, there we go, you can see the difference there's quite a lot now. And that's exactly what I was looking for, more of a natural sort of green. So I just thought I'd show you these early stages of what I'm up to here. So I've used some Metcalf building material and put it on my favourite cereal box. Just to give me the brickwork going inside. Started weathering this, I've got to glue that in place. I've done the same here, I'm just currently ballasting in here. Well, I can get in before I put the top on it. And what we're going to be working on is possibly a bit more rock face here, a bit more rock face above the tunnel portal. So here's the inside of the tunnel. So it's just the Metcalf paper. I've just surrounded it into a semicircle. I've used copy decks to put that on. That works really well and then I'm just going to use hot glue now to just dab it all in place. That's hot glued in now. That's the only angle I'm going to be shooting from, so I think that's going to be good once I've ballasted inside, weathered it up a little bit, put some shrubs, a bit more scenery scatter along here, and then a few more bit of vegetation coming up here. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a dry stone wall along this edge. I think that is probably a bit steep, so I think I'll just blow some scatter along this edge after I've weathered this rock face so it's going to be a rock face that's pretty much covered but yeah that's starting to come on now. So as you can see, not a lot of skill involved in this. The lid is purely on, just to lose the light coming out the tunnel. And while I'm at it, I might just detail this front edge. I'm gonna let the ballast dry before I carve any of this rock face. And again, I'll use the same method on this as I have for the rest of it. 
so that should blend in quite nicely maybe put some vines coming down it just to disguise this top edge but again it's mainly there just for these sort of shots i'm probably going to leave the lid off i've put a little lid here just for the light well, i'm probably going to leave the lid off so i can still access the track inside for cleaning purposes and any derailments i've just used a coach just to give me an idea of the tolerances i've got and it's close but it's okay so i'm just going to use the modeling sheet again just sit it on top just mold it round all the contours i've got it's so easy to use this stuff i think this is one of the best products they do with just a little bit of folding it just naturally takes the shape you want it's already got some nice contours in it which i'm happy with a couple of dabs of hot glue job done so that's the WWS modeling sheet hot glued into place now and it's so easy just to give yourself some natural contours in the landscape that's covered all that mess underneath but it served its purpose it just gave it some structure and that's absolutely solid now ready for the plaster paris I'll cut this and carve this out once the ballast is dry that's all I really wanted from that corner was to just give me some entrance tunnels I almost need to extend the board just slightly here just, for, just to get some shots So there we go that's coming on now quite happy with that a few bits to touch up what i tend to do with any little bits is either put a bit more foliage on or with a green or a gray in the airbrush just a couple of passes just to lose that i think i might need a bit more greenery still on this back edge that two mil spring mix blending quite well with the back scene. 